Aerial history was made in July 1944 when an RAF Mosquito, one of the few Allied aircraft easily able to penetrate German airspace, was shot down by a Messerschmitt 262 flown by Lieutenant Alfred Schreiber, to whom fell the distinction of achieving the first ever jet fighter victory. If the ME-262 represented the cutting edge of fighter technology in 1944, it was the consequence of early German interest in the use of jet propulsion for military aircraft. Indeed, in the Heinkel 178, which took to the air on August 27, 1939, Germany had flown the world's first jet aircraft. The power was provided by a jet engine offering a maximum of just over 1,000 pounds in thrust. In itself, the 178 at this stage represented nothing more than a technical novelty, having no military use. For Heinkel, it had, however, demonstrated the possibility of developing a jet-powered machine that could be employed for more militant purposes. Indeed, he had already initiated studies in 1939 for a twin-engine jet-powered fighter using two new and more powerful engines. The resultant HE-280 was, at the time of its first flight on April 2, 1941, undoubtedly the most advanced aircraft of its type in the world. Powered by two jet engines, each delivering nearly 1,300 pounds of thrust, the HE-280B1 achieved a maximum speed in tests of 485 miles an hour. The fitting of an improved turbojet was expected to raise this to 570 miles per hour. By the spring of 1942, the testing of a succession of prototypes had, in Heinkel's view, proven the concept of the 280. However, its fate was to be sealed by its engine. Heinkel's own design never produced the planned thrust, and switching to the Junkers Umo turbojet meant employing the same engine as the ME-262. The latter, which was now flying, was deemed by the Luftwaffe to have greater potential, and on March 27, 1943, Heinkel was instructed to abandon the 280.